Hi there. Today I have a quick review of the Old School Model Works 109 Weekend Series Model Kit. This is an all wood RC kit suitable for both glow and electric power. So let's take a quick look at it. First, I must know that almost all construction was done using Starbond CA glues. Now, the kit features a lot of laser cut parts that are nicely cut. It also features fully sheeted wings, which is one 16th inch balsa sheeting glued together over a built up wing and lightened ribs and basswood spar. A handy cutting template is supplied to facilitate accurate cutting and the servo mounts once the wing is sheeted. Allen servos are mounted in servo plates in the wing. Tail components are all laser cut, even the sheeting. Fuselage sides piece together like a puzzle and are then glued together, while interior reinforcement parts are pieced together to form crutches, battery mounts, and such. Plans are not needed for building the fuselage as this pretty much can be built in your hand. Tail control servos are then mounted in the fuselage along with the control rods. Top and bottom of fuselage is then sheeted and then the motor mount and horizontal stab is installed. A bit of sanding and she's ready for covering. In this case, I use several colors of Ultra Code as you see here. The color scheme is based on Adolf Gallon's Battle of Britain era colors, which has good visibility. Then control horns and motor is installed along with the speed control, which all fits neatly inside the battery box. Vinyl decals come from Kelly Graphics and are stick and peel. <laughs> yes, I said that right. Out of the field, the 109 is very forgiving to even the most clumsy of hand launches. That said, the 109 gets on step very quickly. Even on modest power, the 109 is very aerobatic and relatively sprightly on the controls. I found the recommended controls well balanced and a model easy to fly. though the rudder loses its effectiveness a bit at lower speeds. The badass 2820 motor with a 10.8 prop provided unlimited climb on only a 3S battery. The model has a pretty wide speed range with almost no bad habits. You can really throw it around the sky and do pretty much any type of basic aerobatics. It will even sustain a knife edge. My model would tend to sharply drop the right wing in a deep stall, but recovery is quick. That said, anyone with moderate flying skills should have no problem flying the 109. As it is very stable at slow speeds, get quite aerobatic when you throw the sticks in the corners. So this is a very well engineered kit that was a fun and relatively quick build model. Now it should be easy to fly for relatively low time pilots and there are lots of paint schemes to choose from. Building balsa kits can be a lot of fun and this one is no different. Hi, thanks for watching. Please take a look at the video description below for special hobby view sales and discounts. Your purchases help support this channel. Happy modeling.